Shalom, brothers and sisters. This week I'm going to tell you up front that I will be getting political. I've been praying all week on how to address this particular Thursday thought because I knew right after posting last week and people started saying that telling each other to love, telling people to love each other, to love your neighbor, to stop sexualizing guns and glorifying death and violence was somehow a political thing that was politicizing the issue. I'm going to tell you up front, if you want to read about my politics, I, I worked in D.C. for about a decade, and I actually worked for a nonprofit that, it was it was a uh, nonpartisan group, and I wrote a number of articles about it. You can Google me to find them and, and read them and see what I believe politically. But I, I'm a moderate. I am a constitutionalist. I like to jokingly say that I'm a conservative socialist. And the reason why I love the Constitution isn't because it was perfect when it was made, but because it was made to be perfected. George Washington said that they started it and leaving it to other people to finish what they started. They knew that what they made wasn't perfect. And we've been able to fix a number of things. Slavery is no longer, well, it's legal in some ways, but it's no longer legal overall. It's only illegal if you imprison someone. Uh, women can vote. So we have this way of growing line upon line, precept upon precept, and that's that's a wonderful thing that is encouraged and talked about in the scriptures. So obviously that's going to be a good thing. What isn't a good thing is talking about Zion and pretending that we want to build Zion, but in reality joining these political cults. And yes, I do believe our political parties are cults, and I'm going to tell you why. Growing up, Red and blue were just sports teams. I mean, even as a young adult, or even as an adult, I remember Mitt Romney running against Obama. And it was this evil Mitt Romney versus this evil Obama. But they're both moderates. At the time, President Obama was known for a health care program that was created by Mitt Romney's people and used by Mitt Romney. So I, I couldn't see the difference between the two. But yet people were, were villainizing these two people. And, and yes, there were small differences, but to me they were mostly irrelevant. So the problem as I see it, and the reason why I call them a cults is because the the media and the political parties, I mean, they really do work together. And, and when I say that, I don't mean that in the sense of they get together in a back room and they decide what people are going to believe. It's all about selling commercials. It's all about making money, right? When they put Fox News together, that was absolutely genius because there was no one catering specifically to conservatives and so they cut all of that commercial real estate and at the same time you know you have these competing other news agencies but they're all running for 24 hours and they don't have anything to say they don't have news so what do they say well you get home from work it's been a bad day you want to get angry you want to yell at something turn on your tv there's somebody yelling at something on the news. And it's it's not healthy. It's not good. It's dividing us. We have allowed the anger used to sell commercial space and used to get us out to vote to divide us to a point to where people literally gathered threatening to hang the vice president. I, I don't care what color your political agenda is. That's not loving your neighbor. This, these, eh, this, we'll say this, because to me, they're all the same. They're, they're, they're one party that just works 
to keep us divided. None of these political parties are going to build Zion because they exist to tear us apart. So the next time you hear something or you read something and you think to yourself, they're politicizing this, you know, their agenda. Ask yourself, how? How are they politicizing it? Are they really politicizing it? Or are you repeating the talking points you have been trained to say because of the news outlets that you pay attention to? And to be clear, I am not talking about the red or the blue. I'm talking about the red and the blue because they both do it. When I was working in DC, I'll just tell you quickly, a big goal towards the end of my, my career there was to stop the Republicans from giving constitutional authority over trade to Democratic then President Barack Obama. The way we accomplished this was by getting the unions and the Tea Party to work hand in hand. They collaborate, they, they, they worked together, they collaborated together to stop this from happening for two and a half years. And they had to make all sorts of, on the Democratic side, threats, and on the Republican side, concessions. Um, there were concessions and threats on both sides, don't get me wrong, but the people I worked with personally, one particular senator, he was told he was going to lose his campaign funding, and they were going to replace him with a different uh, candidate of the same party if he didn't toe the line. <clears throat> and there was a lot of concessions made on the on the other side to get people to to, I'm sorry, yeah, to get to get votes from both parties to ensure that this Republican agenda could pass of giving the Democratic president power. So while we as Americans are fighting each other, arguing, hating, they are working together as one. Think about that. Why should we, as citizens, be fighting when they are using that against us? So my message to you, my thought to you this week is, get out of the cult. Get out of the cult of politics. Get out of the cult of hate. And love your neighbor. You want to change the world? Love is the only thing that's going to change it. You want to build Zion? Love is what's going to build it. I testify you in the name of Jesus Christ that no political party will build Zion. And we can only build Zion through love. That is my thought for you this Thursday, and I leave it with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.